So many of you are asking, is the Buried Alive creepypasta real or not? Well, the simple answer is almost certainly no. Let's start from the beginning. Some of you rightly pointed out there's a massive white box around the picture of Buried Alive. This is because the Buried Alive model doesn't exist in the game's code, or anywhere at all. It was just made up. The picture you see everywhere is an artist's impression. The same can be said for the white hands the sprite would supposedly use in battle. In fact, the white hands are an even less feasible part of the story, having, and I quote, an attack where the hand balling into a fist swings forward. However, the brutal animation is missing several frames. The hand seems to open up, then cuts out. After a few seconds, it reappears, closed again. No record has been found of these missing frames. Hmm, that's surprising. I think this is pretty open and shut. For a start, anyone who remembers playing Pokemon Red and Blue as a child will recall the animations were basically just the sprite moving a little bit left in a jerky motion. The game didn't articulate Pokemon's movements, making all of this information surrounding the supposed missing Pokemon completely invalid. Simply put, the game wasn't capable of making over 100 Pokemon have individual animations, maybe due to memory limitations or time constraints. Either way, Basically, a very imaginative player working off the intrinsic, creepy atmosphere of Lavender Town decides to create a pasta surrounding it. If you don't believe me, do your own research. There is no record of either buried alive or white hands. Furthermore, Nintendo wouldn't have allowed anything so dark into a children's game. Hypno is one thing, a decaying co human corpse is, is quite another. Also, there is no typical game over screen in Pokemon. You just white out and end up in a Pokemon Center, so that type of part of the tale is completely invalid as well. There were never even any plans for a game open over screen, so the idea that you'd end up looking at yourself being devoured with game over underneath is, is just completely invented. Sorry to disappoint you all, but it's just simply not true. However, we have got the Marowak ghost, and that's still fairly dark, you know, with Cuban wearing his mother's skull for the rest of his life in some kind of morbid mourning of her. Fortunately, though, most children wouldn't get that, really. I didn't as a child. I had no idea Cuban was wearing his mother's skull over his head. Whereas, mm, human corpse devouring you, that's pretty obvious, and most children would work out what was going on. That would probably upset quite a lot of people, and I'm sure parents would definitely complain.